Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Tuesday morning here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Wherever you are on the globe, on the continent of Africa, in Europe, in America, Canada, or any part of the world, the globe that you are, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this very special edition, Tuesday edition. Yes, we are Tuesday morning here in Asia. Dear friends, well, a lot is taking place, a lot has already taken place over the past 24 hours on a transfer market scene. With Chelsea, so much happening. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, well, the latest news we are receiving from Napoli is that they have officially made an offer for Chelsea player Romelu Lukaku. Yes, Napoli have officially made an offer for Romelu Lukaku. In this offer, there is nothing that contains Victor Osimhen. Exchange of Victor Osimhen for Romelu Lukaku. No. A separate offer was made by Napoli to Chelsea because they are serious about the player that they want. Ladies and gentlemen, Napoli have made a formal offer to Chelsea for Romelu Lukaku at 25 million euros plus <laughs> 25 million euros plus 5 million in bonuses. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea wants 43 million euros and are likely to reject the offer. Yes. Chelsea are likely to reject the offer. Napoli know Chelsea are at risk of having Lukaku stay at the club this summer and could move for David Neres instead. Well, they are also threatening Chelsea. You either accept our offer or we will move for another player somewhere else. Ladies and gentlemen, but we also know that Napoli's interest in Romelu Lukaku is very strong. The, the striker that Antonio Conte wants in Napoli is Romelu Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku also wants to go to Napoli. But with this offer from Napoli right now, I'm not too sure if Chelsea are re ready to accept the 25 million euro plus the 5 million in bonuses. I'm not too sure. This is far below what Chelsea would have expect from Napoli. Ladies and gentlemen, it is what it is. And it is the first offer from Napoli to Chelsea on Romelu Lukaku. All right. I believe Napoli are making this offer in reference to the attitude of Chelsea towards the signing of Victor Osimhen. I told you yesterday, Chelsea tried to play a chess game. I mean, they tried to use Samu, 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 Samu Omorodion as a bait to draw the attention of Napoli. Yes, they used Samu Omorodion's deal to draw the attention of Napoli. You either reduce us, your, your standing, uh, you know, your offer, the release clause. You reduce the release clause, you change your stance on the amount involved, and we will come for Victor Osimhen or we will go for Samu Omorodio. We just made the effort, booking the medicals, everything for the player. The player actually came for the medicals. But you know, as usual, Chelsea will always have it its way. Chelsea will always have its way. It is said that Chelsea found an anchor problem with, in the medical of Samu and tried to change things. Yes. Chelsea found an ankle injury. An ankle injury. Every player now and then always have an ankle injury. So this shouldn't have been the excuse from Chelsea. But Chelsea, during the medical, they discovered that Samu Omorodion had an ankle injury. Now, Chelsea want to pay the same price for Felix as they did for Samu. But Atletico Madrid won 60 million euros for Jao Felix. So when they discovered the ankle injury, they now stood their attention. They told Atletico Madrid, no, 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 we can't buy this. And this, because this was all a ploy to, you know, for, for Napoli to be triggered. For Napoli to be triggered. They only did this to trigger Napoli's stance on Vitor Simen. And at the end of the day, when they reject Samu Morodion, Napoli was uh, like, oh, really? Okay. Since you don't want Victor any longer, we also we want to offer for Victor, uh, how do you call it? Romelu Lukaku, 25 million euros plus add on 5 million extra. Are you ready? Otherwise, we will start looking elsewhere. It is what it is. Now, 
At the same time, Chelsea have a deal with Atletico. And that deal, for that deal to go through, Chelsea is obliged to buy a player from Atletico also. We are obliged to buy a player. In order for them to sign Conor Gallagher deal, we must also buy a player from them. So there was a standstill. Ladies and gentlemen, as we stand, as it stands right now, Chelsea want to pay the same price for Samu Morodion. That is our 34 million euros. That they wanted to pay for Samu Morodion for Jao Felix. But Atletico Madrid won 60 million euros. <laughs> Madrid won 60 million euros. Felix amortization is 45 million euros. That is the point. So if Chelsea put down 50 million euros, it could happen. If Chelsea put down 50 million euros, Jao Felix deal could happen. Deal is now down to what Chelsea decides, ladies and gentlemen. The deal right now for Jao Felix is down to what Chelsea decides. And let us not forget, Victor Osimhen deal is also still standing. And like I told you, that deal could go down to the final days of the transfer window. But you see, as all these things were happening in the past 24 hours, 40 hours, Conor Gallagher has been asked to return to London. Yes, Conor Gallagher deal to Atletico Madrid is off at the moment. And he's been asked to return to London today. Flight is already booked for Conor Gallagher. Until Chelsea and Atletico had an, who agree on something tangible for Jao Felix, Conor Gallagher deal for now is on hold. And as it stands right now, ladies and gentlemen, Jao Felix has said yes to return to Chelsea. He has already said yes to returning to Chelsea. Player has given green light. Now it's up to Chelsea. They will decide soon if or how to proceed. This is also crucial for Conor Gallagher deal, according to Fabrizio Romano. This is crucial for Conor Gallagher's deal, ladies and gentlemen. Jao Felix is keen to return to Stamford Bridge and it's thought Chelsea could sign him for less than 40 million pounds. Less than 40 million pounds means it could be around in the range of around 45 million euros. Ladies and gentlemen, he has also indicated a willingness to take a significant cut in his salary to fit into the club's wage structure. Yes, the player is really desperate to return to Chelsea. He enjoyed his short spell then, two years, two seasons ago. And so he's willing to cut his wages. Unlike Vitor Ossiman, who is not willing to cut his wages. Do you see the difference there now? All right. You see, Fabrizio Romano again reported that Atletico Madrid and Samu Omorodion's camp are already working on a different solution after Chelsea deal collapsed. Chelsea and Athletic keep working on Jao Felix deal, on no longer on Samu Morodion. Conor Gallagher is still waiting. Conor Gallagher is still waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, situation that can happen today, before I conclude, what to expect from Chelsea and Atletico Madrid today? Right now, anything can happen. Three things that I suspect will happen in the next 24 hours. Three things. Now, take it from me. These three things, one of these can easily happen in the next 24 hours. One, Atletico agreed to sign Gallagher and then we get Felix as pressure was put on them by Chelsea last night to reduce the fee. Pressure was put on Atletico last night to reduce the fee for Jao Felix. So Atletico could agree to sign Gallagher and then Chelsea will get Felix. Two, Atletico already annoyed with Chelsea. They are already angry with the situation with Chelsea. They, they call off the Gallagher deal and he is coming home today. Gallagher is already coming back to London today. And if Gallagher should touch down in London, it means that that deal is almost collapse. But for now, flight is booked and talks are still ongoing. That's the second point. Three, Atletico can sign Gallagher 
And Chelsea can easily walk away from Felix deal. Atletico could still sign Galaga and Chelsea can still walk away from Felix deal if Atletico failed to reduce the asking price. With the whole thing with Samu and Felix being a ploy to just sell Conor Galaga abroad. Those are my three points. In the next 24 hours, either of these could happen. Ladies and gentlemen, Galaga has been told to return home, but he has not yet returned home. Jao Felix deal or Jao Felix move won't be easy either. And remember, Chelsea is not desperate to sign him. No, we don't need him. And that is why the negotiation is taking this long. That will reflect on how we value him while Atletico Madrid will see it as exploitation. Both deals could easily collapse. Both Conor Gallagher and Jao Feli deal could easily collapse. And everybody will walk out. <laughs> well, as it stands right now, ladies and gentlemen, Jao Feli's key on Chelsea, put that in your mind. Julian Alvarez deal, no, not in doubt. It has nothing to do with Julian Alvarez and Man City. Conor Gallagher in the dark as we speak. I pity Conor Gallagher. Because this is a man, a young man, that was not willing even to go to Atletico Madrid. It, looked, it was as if he was being forced out. Gallagher was, as if, uh, was forced out. It was the last minute that he agreed to go. Now, I mean, the frustration. Well, Samu Omorodio wanted by other clubs as we speak. So, and this is the reason why I said Chelsea only use Sam Omorodion as a bait to trigger Napoli to soften their stance. Ladies and gentlemen, let me also remind you, Konogalaga deal to Atletico has not yet officially collapsed. But Chelsea sees all deals, all the deals, also with Jao Felix as a separate and independent deals. Chelsea is seeing the deals as a separate and independent deals. So Conor Gallagher's deal has not totally collapsed yet. Atletico can get Gallagher deals signed as documents are already in place. But if they don't, Chelsea's request, Chelsea requests Conor Gallagher back to London with flight book. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the latest news on Chelsea this morning for you as your breakfast. Any other news, I'm hoping to get an update on Victor Osimhen for our lunch hour and I'll surely deliver it to you. Don't go far away. I should be back in the next three hours for your lunch. Hot one on your plate, ladies and gentlemen. Quickly, before I let you go, a big shout out to you guys all out there. The first one, first message I have here is I love what you are doing. The name is what? Akman Wisdom, Akman Wisdom, big shout out to you out there, very big shout out to you wherever you are, please let me know where you are, you are in Ghana or you are in Kenya or Uganda or wherever you are, let me know where you are and your full name, ladies and gentlemen, this one says, good evening bro, my name is Aziz Oguntayo from Ogun State, Nigeria, big shout out to you Aziz Oguntayo from Ogun State, Nigeria, this one says, we want Nico Williams, well, but you have not given me your name. Please send me your name and where you are watching this from. Big shout out to you out there anyway. You say, good evening, sir. Coming from... Uh, I can't see this name clearly. Please remember to, with a heart emoji. Red heart emoji. Say, good evening, sir. Big shout out to you, my dear friend, wherever you are. Remember to send me your name, please, and your location. You say, this one says, I am Julius from Nigeria. Enzo Mareska is not a bad coach. Chelsea board are clearly setting him up for failure. Looking at Chelsea now with a squad of 40 plus players, when you can't confidently pick five consistent world class players among them, it's a problem for, for any coach. Chelsea better make things right when there is still time. It is true very well. Chelsea better make things right when there is still time. Otherwise, they are setting Mareska up for failure. This is coming from Julius from Nigeria, Julius in Nigeria. Big shout out to you all there, brother Julius in Nigeria. All right, this one says, Salam Blog, good day for you, for your update and show. 3, 17, 2, 23.
Well, he said, I'm Steve Anderson, Muhembe. My problem is, what is Chelsea for in London, Felix? Ladies and gentlemen, we don't actually need our Felix. But because of the situation with Atletico Madrid, we must buy in order for them to buy Conor Gallagher. We just want to sell Conor Gallagher for the pure profit. Yeah, it is what it is. Big shout out to you, Adam, my brother. This one says, Madweka is not a level of Chelsea FC. He likes to, to fall <laughs> from Johannes. Johannes, well, Madweka is turning out to be one of our best players these days, you know. Anyway, big shout out to you, Adam, Johannes. Uh, this one says, Seller's blog, I believe in your analysis so much because you always go deep in finding before you break it out. <laughs> I love you. Keep on the good work. And nephew Moses following you from Delta State, Nigeria. Big shout out to you out there. And nephew Moses, I appreciate you so much. Keep your messages coming in. All right. This was a, we don't need Felix. Yes, we don't actually need him. But because of the situation on ground, if we want to sell Galaga to Atletico, then we must buy from them as well. All right. This one says, Good evening, sir. I am Ajaya Felix from Benue State, Nigeria. Felix, big shout out to you out there in Nigeria. Have a great, great morning. This one says, Good evening from here, Mr. Salons. Your analysis is ac accurate. Chelsea need to win their opponents for them to qualify for Conference League. They should not fail, they should not fall our hands. So, and Chelsea should act fast on Osimen and Felix deal before other clubs comes in. Michael from Lagos, Nigeria. Big shout out to Adam Michael from Lagos, Nigeria. All right, quickly the last three. Uh, this one said, please, we need Osimen and Felix from Felix. I'm Fe Frederick Amabeb from Nigeria. Bias last state. Big shout out to Adam Felix, Frederick, Frederick Amabe from Bias last state, Nigeria. This was a good evening. Ibrahim Shola, good evening to you too. It's good morning to you right now. Big shout out to you out there, Ibrahim Shola. There's an up Chelsea blue, blood, blue blood, pressure. Chelsea must win Premier League this season. I suspect this coming from Chukudi Nas, Chukudi Nas, Malaysia. Yes, blue blood emoji. All right, the last one says, we love you, bro. Keep it up. Malambo from Zambia. Malambo Magambo. Yes, that's my friend out there. Big shout out to you out there, my friend Malambo from Zambia. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's going to be exclusive. I have it ready. But wait for that in the next, uh, next hour to, uh, to come. Due to our time, we cannot go into Vito's news now. But I promise you, in the next few hours to come, that will be on your screen. See you in the next one when you see me, dear friends. Shalom and peace.